All right. So we're here at Washington Park, you know, just soaking in some history. Do you, uh, you mind sharing your name with us, brother? Oh, my name is John. John? John Perkins. John Perkins. All right. No doubt. I appreciate you taking out some time to, you know, uh, share some of your wealth and information. We here at Washington Park. What does Washington Park mean to you, you know, being here in this area? Well, I was born and raised here in this city. And that was our first park we had. Right. Okay. It's about great history, such as things that we used to have over there as lantern parade, picnics, Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts used to camp out there. But the change come around, so that's brought on other things that other people like to do. And then it may could have been a better club. Ugly, but I see a thing would remain the same. That thing would have been a little bit more library than now. Mm -hmm. And across the street from the park, which a lot of people don't know, that that used to be an army base. And the name of that army base was Tent City. The veteran that served there was World War II and the Korean veteran. Then after that, they threw it down because they built a YMCA up there. Mm -hmm. So uh, this here was here before the uh, modern was built, the after mm -hmm. So this saw uh, him, Mr. Hawker. Mm -hmm. I used to see him when I was a boy. Mm -hmm. what kind of, so what was it like growing up with Mr. Harper to see that he's being recognized as, you, he has a statue, you know what I mean, here in yeah, the middle yeah, of Washington yeah. Park. What, what was that like growing up with him and like what's it like to see him be uh, immortalized in that type of way? Well, he has really did something for black. Not just here in this city, but all over the country. And he's well known, but I'm saying this here and that. What he did do, he made things some better for some of us. What are, what are some of the things that you uh, want to see improve, you know, in, in this generation? Well, I hope I can give you a good answer on that. I would like to see our people come more together and more respect and try to do things to help one on the bed. I know it's not going to be easy mm -hmm. for none of us, whether right. we went to Morehouse or went to UCLA or any place. Right. I'm just trying to say now is this, that this city here has done a long way mm -hmm. No doubt. So um, the name of our organization is Soul Society. We all about community empowerment and mentoring youth through artistic ways. Right. Um, through connecting, you know, with those with wisdom and experience and history. So I appreciate you, you know, taking out the time to uh, share, you know, a few things with us, you know, as we are uh, going through the city. Uh, my brother has on a shirt that says black love is revolutionary. What are like, what would you like to see more in black love? Well, I'd like to see more in black love, but people trying to have things on their own and trying to do things and make life better for their kids. Mm -hmm. I really would. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Now, one question, is you all from here? No, sir, we're from North Carolina. Oh, I ain't North Carolina. I have relatives who live in North Carolina. Okay. So anyway, I'm just trying to say, this is not your first visit, is it? No, sir, it is not. Okay, All right. You know delegate, you done been in and out. That's good for you there. Let me ask you one person, of course. Okay. Did you go to school here, or you went to school back in the east? I went to um, school in North Carolina. I went to uh, Winston Salem State. Okay. So I'm a, I'm a HBCU product as well, and my brother went to A&T. All right, that's good. No doubt. All right. Well, I won't be always when you come through here, but do you have a card? I'm gonna give you a card to make sure you have my information and um. You know, so you can see, you know, when we post this up on the internet. All right. All right, I appreciate you. Okay. No doubt.